<laughs> Next story is the European Union has demanded that TikTok make their algorithm optional. So this story is from The Verge. TikTok users in Europe will be able to switch off the personalized algorithm behind its For You page and live feeds as the company makes changes to comply with the EU's Digital Services Act. You see how they hyperlink it? Like, okay, so if I click on this now, I'll be able to okay, go and see the actual digital services. I, I don't get that. You know, you want to just show popular videos from the places you live instead of your personal interests. Why would I want, you know, I hey, want hey, hey, you experience. You have the option, you have the no, option. No, but still, that, the, you can tell that these people who write and who are in charge of doing these laws don't actually understand how social media does work. No, 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 no. Hear, hear, hear him out, hear him out, hear him out. They didn't say that TikTok has to only show the yeah, popular no, videos from both places. So you'll have the option. So it's almost an opt, uh, opt in or opt out. Yeah. And popular videos from both the places they live um, and around the world, basically it will show them the most popular videos. Now, right. your, for, your, your For You page doesn't show you necessarily the most popular videos. It shows the most popular videos within your niche. Yeah. So they um they're trying to to give people a chance to be sensitized to the fact that you may be under the control of an algorithm. So if you are if you don't want to be under the control of the algorithm, here are your options. And I I okay with that. Okay, okay but here I'm out, right? <laughs> Remember, mm-hmm. Treads launched a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah. And Treads, when it, the first couple of days was uh, um, the algorithm was really just popular Treads, popular posts, not necessarily things that related to you or things that you're interested in. And it was a horrible experience, like <laughs> totally horrible. You've seen random things from celebrities and meme pages and makeup and it's like, I, that was like makeup, makeup not really, I have no interest <laughs> at all to makeup. Why are you showing me this? And you're showing us a lot of, a set of crap. And it's like, this was horrible. It was like unusable for me. I understand. I, it would be unusable it's for like, me It's like, all right, too. okay for you. You go on TikTok and all you seen is dancing videos. They all you seen dancing oh, no, videos nah, and talking nah, and, and pelt, whatever. I'll, that that I'll, is all popular. I'll pelt that for that, I'll, Right, exactly. I'll, it what? needs to, you need to have some things that you're interested in. You kind of show people popular things. What, what, I, what I think they want to do, like what I think they want to do is um, give people the opportunity to yeah. train the algorithm. I think they should give people a bigger chance of training the algorithm. No, training the algorithm means you'll have to do work. But like you got to go and choose the things that you want to see now. And, yeah, but you're going to come advance. back to the same point where you're going to see personalized stuff with the right. treasure trying to get away from. Right. So I I would I would be okay if TikTok told me at the start, okay, what are the things that you like? Instead of me having to watch videos and see. But, but the thing about training the algorithm manual is people just lie. And people will say, oh, yeah, I like books, and I like this, and I like that. Yeah. And then when you see them kind of videos, you know, but when you actually do it the way TikTok did it, they know what you like because that is what you're watching. Yeah, what you're so, engaging with. Yeah, what you're engaging is, with. Which is, you so, know, it will show you more of it. Yeah. You know, even like me on, on Twitter, however, they'll like be, they'll say yeah, in the beginning where you like and whatever your interest, but... You know, ultimately, that is not what you want to see 24 um, 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, call like for me, I uh be in IT, be in tech, whatever, right? You'll put tech, you'll put gaming, whatever, whatever, but that is not not what you want to pick up and watch 10 o'clock in the night or 8 o'clock in the morning. You might be interested in this news or sports or current events, you know? So some people might be interested in dancing and all that, but you know, so it's not. They I mean, do it like that, but the digital services act like I'm now watching I watch any website it, mm-hmm. it it's spanning a lot of other things like um ads to teenagers and um yeah. collection of data sending data across the to um the pond um 
large search engines taking taking the information and all that stuff. So this is a, a almost like a culmination of all of the things that we've been talking about for for years. Mm-hmm. So like like you see here, um, illegal goods and services, civil society and platforms taking out your information, seeking redress, getting um things taken down, risks advance uh, all kind of thing so it has a lot of stuff in it this is just one of the things so i um i wouldn't say that the 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 act is written by people who don't know what they're doing because i realize that the eu does a lot more than america in terms of taking practical um practical steps to protect people's data and making sure that companies have to do certain things, standardize certain things, like how they're making Apple standardize with the USB-C and all of that probably inside here. So I am I am happy that it exists because even though this particular one with TikTok doesn't make sense, it is going to let a user know, hey, you could have some sort of say in how your data gets used and how it's going to be managed and all that kind of stuff. And people will start to take it into consideration. Whether people will buy into it or not, that is up to them because I believe the vast majority of people wouldn't care. And it is yeah, like, like um, just you know, the, whole, the whole cook accept cookie things came out because of the EU and now it's more like a nuisance. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> be like, um, was that? Yeah, all cookies. Yeah, Sean, no problem. Yeah, everything. Whatever, whatever, yeah. First so thing will be. If you try to reject it, you had to go to some time. You had to go to and do more steps and it's like yeah, oh, yeah. Like, that's all all of that. the article. And um, yeah, giving people the opportunity. Now, me personally, I. I I think all my stuff out already and the only way the only thing as we real concerned about is my phone number. However, my phone number has been out I realized my phone number was out on a website that I had from a long, long time. Mm. And I just realized, come to really think of it, you could block almost anybody and anything. Yeah. Um with with now with, with, with your smartphone. So my phone number, even though I still won't give it out, if it if it does get out and th- things start to go south, I'll just be like, all right, cool, we could block this number, block that number. The only thing that could that, that could happen is you get really, really annoyed by mm-hmm. robocalls coming all the time. But they're putting things in place for that. But other than that, face, likeness, voice, all them kind of thing. Yeah, we all there. Yeah, that thing, <laughs> I, I don't know if it would fight. I yeah. met somebody who 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 um scrubbed themselves from the internet, a Trini. Yeah. A Trini scrubbed themselves from the internet. I talk about no references whatsoever, nothing. The reason I know is because I manage a website that the person was on on one article. And it yeah. wasn't like featured, it's just a picture in the background. And person in question found me and said, Um, could you take down that um that picture? And I was like, Okay, sure, no problem. So I take it down. And then when I really check it, they scrub themselves from the internet fully, mm. fully, fully. I was like, wow, you you good, yes? Because that real work. Even you win a, a big lotto and didn't want nobody to know you also. I not seen any further questions. I not even <laughs> I not even going down that road. Yeah. No, I, I good. Yeah. So um TikTok, right. No, you was telling me when you um when I was chatting with you that um TikTok have ads in um in yeah. the states no um it, the ads are like instagram ads or it's like it's like the ads i just get on like mm, where's get like when you go on stories on instagram and mm-hmm. you're going through stories after you go through about four stories you just get an ad um, yeah so it's it's similar to that you know but the the number the frequency not really it's not set frequency. Predictable, right? like, yeah. yeah sometimes it's yeah. five, sometimes it's cool past ten. But you yeah. would know it's hard because, I mean, the style light sometimes, you know, you can really tell. And also you'll see sponsor at the bottom, you know. So, like, for me, I get kind of trained. As soon as I see that sponsor, it's just cool. I don't really it does, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> It could you be know? an ad. It could be an ad for something that you want. You didn't. You never yeah. think but about it. I mean, it could just scroll back long, but for the most part, <laughs> I just uh, add. You know, but 
It's not like YouTube is be mid roll or whatever, you know, it's a totally new video. Yeah, like yeah. That's cool pass. So that's I get catch I get catch with um Instagram ads and stories already. Um mm. cause I thought I was watching somebody's story and then I realized yeah. I was watching an ad because it was so well crafted to to look like a story and everything. And yeah. I was I was actually impressed that they they could do it so seamlessly. So I was wondering how TikTok if TikTok did it very seamlessly. No, but I it could yeah. In one of the things they said, um, TikTok, they, they, they can advertise to 13 to 17 year olds. Yeah, okay. So okay. it used to be a can advertise to anybody under 13, but now 13 to 17, that's, that's, that's tough because 16 year olds and 17 year olds has drive a lot, of, um, a lot of online ads, especially for mobile games yeah, yeah, and, yeah. um, and brands. So in the EU, wow. Yeah. 